Welcome to lesson two, aspens, poplars, and cottonwood. Here are samples of the common poplars and cottonwoods. We have trembling aspen, which is roundish with small teeth, cottonwood, which is triangular-ish with medium-sized teeth, and large tooth aspen, which is also somewhat like a triangle with much larger teeth. The balsam poplar has three different types of leaves on it. The most common one is number two, which looks like a raindrop. The trembling aspen, roughly rounded, but the stem is flat and shakes with the slightest breeze, thus giving it its name. It can also be called quaking aspen. Notice that this print is in green. Anything that's in green could be on the conservation quiz portion of tree B. Trembling aspens stands, you can see, have very bright white trunks and the color in the fall is a beautiful yellow. It's often mistaken for a birch from a distance. Aspens, poplars, and cottonwoods have similar looking flowers and fruit. In fact, the fruit is very, is the way trees are identified into species. We do not expect you to identify most trees by only their flowers or fruit. If this slide was on the test, it would have another picture to help you identify the, the uh, tree species. This is more like a sample of a test slide on tree bee with the flower and the leaves. The trembling aspen fruit below has not opened yet to expose the white cotton like tufts which carry the seeds and the breeze away from the parent tree. A word on what a fruit is. Most people believe that a fruit is something you eat, but a fruit develops from the flower of a plant while the other parts of the plant um, which we might eat are vegetables. Fruit contains seeds, while vegetables can consist of roots, stems, and leaves. Not all fruit is edible. Examples are the fruit of the aspens, poplars, and cottonwoods. They should not be eaten. Also, nuts, which develop from a flower, are a kind of fruit, which is edible. Tomatoes, beans, and peas are all samples of fruit because they are produced from the flowers of a plant. Again, here's a stand of trembling aspens. Trembling aspens are also called quaking aspens and beavers favorite trees to eat include poplars, aspens and cottonwood. Remember facts in green print could be included in the conservation questions. This is a large tooth aspen. Very large distinct teeth is how it can be identified. The flowers are very similar to other aspens. The fruit of the large tooth aspen, like the other aspens, has white fluffy hairs attached. These hairs allow the seeds to float away. And again, here is the trunk, but it is not peeling and therefore it is not a white birch. Large tooth aspen, interesting facts. You can look at these by pausing the video. Next, we have a cottonwood, roughly triangular, medium-sized teeth, and fluffy flowers. You can see some of the fruit pods very similar to other aspens here. Uh, hiding in the tree is also a Baltimore oriole. On this side is the unopened fruit, and on this side it's open with the fluffy um, portion of it capable of carrying the seed away. Interesting facts about the cottonwood. The wood is used to make paper, pallets, boxes, lightweight furniture, and as firewood. 
Balsam poplar is the hardest of the poplars to identify. The autumn color is often black, and so it's also called the black poplar. But the shape is much like a teardrop or a raindrop with very small teeth around it. This is a little better picture of it. You can see the teeth. And another one with the fruit in the background. Again, the trunk looks somewhat like a white birch, but it isn't peeling. And an older one, as you can see on the right, starts to have ridges and look more like we think of trees um, with their trunk and bark. It is flood tolerant. And here are some other facts. Lombardi poplar. The Lombardi poplar is unique in that it is almost a diamond shape. Lombardi poplar grows straight and tall. It is often used as a windbreak around parks and fields because it grows fast. Notice how tall it is here with the houses in the background and the weeping willow on the left. Lombardi poplar probably originated in Lombardy in Northern England as a mutation of the black poplar. The Lombardi poplar is a male tree. Very interesting fact is no female trees of this variety exist. Lombardi poplar is a male clone, which must be propagated by cuttings. Silver poplar looks somewhat like a maple leaf. In the fall, it turns yellow with black splotches. It is commonly called white poplar, but they're also known as silver leaf poplars. I recommend that the teacher does a screen capture of the following two pages and give them out to your students as study pages. Here's the different shapes of the more common poplars. And here's the last two poplars, the silver or white poplar and the Lombardi poplar. This completes the lesson on aspen, poplar, and cottonwood.